same thing again, we're going to two car boots, we're gonna to go to Wolverhampton, then Birmingham, and then go back home, see what we found. So let's just hit the road, get the day started. Cool, that one is done. Um, got around there pretty quick. It's gotten colder as the morning's gone on. So everything's frozen, like t-shirts, jackets, everything's like super crunchy. There's some stuff I didn't buy that I might have shown in the video just now that is like Burberry, Armani. They just weren't priced right for what I can kind of move them for. And like jeans, people don't really buy jeans. Like you'd be surprised how many people won't buy like Levi jeans or Lee or Wrangler or even Ralph Lauren jeans. Like you don't really buy jeans without trying them on first. Yeah, we're gonna just hit up the next one now. Let's just hit the road. It's gonna take about 40 minutes to get there. That is done. I found so much good stuff today. Another amazing car boot weekend. A perfect Sunday, if I do say so myself. E-boot, the one I go to like every weekend. If you've gone yourself, you'll know. It just keeps getting bigger and better. And the guy who runs this place is just such a G. Like, he's the coolest guy around. But yeah, found some really good stuff. So let's not waste any time. Let's get home, have a coffee. I need a coffee when I get home. And then look through everything we found. So let's hit the road. Okay, so first thing I bought for myself, this incredible picture for a pound of, if you can tell who it is, 
the one, the only, the greatest that has ever done it, Lewis Hamilton. Um, so that's just because I couldn't say no to it. If I show you first though, this little thing, just in case I lose it. This is like a Nike, I don't know, like you put your stuff in it. It's probably like maybe early 2000s, 90s or something. Like some sort of running thing. I don't really know, but it's really cool. I think it was like 50p or maybe a pound. I can't really remember because it was so early when I bought that one. But just a really cool little piece. This is a 1994 Cliff Richard t-shirt. You gotta love Cliff. He's the guy. A great t-shirt. And then single stitched. Anytime you see it, every time I see it anyway, we always buy it. They stopped making them in like 1994 or something like that. So if you ever have a single stitch t-shirt, you almost guarantee that it's gonna be before 95, 94. So always buy them. A couple more barber bits. Like I don't intend to buy barber, but it just happens. These, just some swim shorts from like the 90s, but they've got just such a great color to them. Um, They'll definitely go, just because like, the distress kind of looked vintage is what I sell. This one though, which I'll keep for myself, if you can kind of see like it's a different, it's more faded on the shoulders, because obviously it's been worn in the sun and stuff, which is we call sun fading, surprisingly. But it's just a really great t-shirt, sh shirt. It's a really great shirt, just because it has that kind of patina to it. This is faded with a bit of bleach on it, but it's a 1990s Land Rover t-shirt. You can always tell by this older tag they did. Don't ask me how I know all this, but I've seen so many tags in my day. You don't care about that. Nike, don't care about that. Budweiser something, you don't care about that. This one, oh, 1994 Kids Power Rangers t-shirt. So whenever we see a date like that, that just means that we can verify point blank that it's vintage. Um, it's always gonna be a little bit more desirable because People want to know that it's genuine vintage. And then, oh, these are the good stuff. So a vintage Fred Perry fleece. This is a really nice one. Like it'll definitely go, like it's got some Fred Perry sportswear. And then like another little thing on the back. This is sort of their older tag as well. That's how we know. Um, and then the last thing is Silverstone. Like this Silverstone fleece, 2XL, which is absolutely massive. But um, it's still really cool. Like I'll definitely sell it nonetheless. Um, so yeah, we did really well. I'm really happy with my Lewis Hamilton picture that I can now display and rep McLaren Days Hamilton 2008 for life forever. Take me back. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. And until next time, until next weekend, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back.